Fingers crossed. We'll see how today goes. Uh, I'm I'm Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends, and uh, this is third attempt at an afternoon stream. So we'll see how that goes. The first one I started late, and then the uh, the Twitch comment thing crapped out, and then the second one I tried to do, my power went out. So we'll see what happens this time. On uh, on Twitter and 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 Facebook and stuff, I was like, maybe my TV will melt. Maybe I'll get attacked by wild dogs. You just gotta wait and see. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope you had a good May the Fourth weekend or Cinco de Mayo weekend or Free Comic Book Day weekend. Whatever you do, we did all three, so it was kind of a busy weekend. Hey, it's Riccio. Hey, I need online courses. That's what I'm trying to do when I'm not streaming. How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in. Let's see if I can maintain a stream the whole time. I haven't played since my power went out. I wonder what got saved. Oh, Riccio, when you were watching, did it capture me going, uh-oh, right before the power went out? Because I saw stuff shut down right before I lost power. And I think it'd be really funny if it was, uh-oh, cut to black. Because <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, I can't remember if that... Is that Scabrous Scrotus? Or Stank Gum? Alright. I'm freaking out right now. I got papers to sign. And I thought your house died last stream. No, just just the power. Just the power crapped out. Oh, the uh-oh wasn't caught? That's too bad. I, I was really excited to, ma to maybe catch that. I knew that was a long shot. <laughs> that was crazy. So yeah, I think I think I even mentioned it on the stream. Like, it was super fucking windy here. And it was it was the night before, too. Because we had had... And we had had thunderstorms that week. And then I guess that wind finally did us in. This is funny. Alright, so I got... So it looks like they saved that hot air balloon. Oh, I was heading to the dunes. I don't think I can go here yet. I think this is walled off. We'll see. There's nothing out here. That's fucking creepy, actually. Yeah, or could I just do camps or whatever? There's so there's so many choices. Could have been a, <laughs> could have been a Ben drowned scenario. Yeah, Ben drowned was actually pretty creepy. Like it's funny to joke about, but they actually they pulled that off pretty good. I think partially because Majora's Mask is just a, a kind of creepy game by nature, but I thought they uh, I thought they nailed that pretty good. Ooh, it saved me! It saved me killing this convoy. Oh, the camps here are so much tougher than the camps down here. I'm going to do... Maybe I should do some story missions. Because <laughs> I never do those. Yeah. Yeah. I might do a story mission. There's so, there's so, so much to do. I haven't done any races on stream. I've only done a couple races at all, but... I've only done one on stream. Hey, it's Jeff. What up? Uh-oh, story time with Jeff. Let's hear it. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying you had a story. Yeah, no, let's do a... <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, race is a social construct wherein we all agree to line up and see who gets to the finish line first. No, yeah, I think I'm going to do some story missions. Yeah, <laughs> slow on the uptake. Uh, let's we'll check out this boy first. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll just see what we run into along the way. How's it going, Jeff? Ah, it feels good to be back in the wasteland. Life is crap. <laughs> oh, nice. 
be careful. I don't want you to get in trubs at work. Stress is a part of life. That is for fucking sure. Inescapable. That's why I to in the voice then. Uh, the guy on the back of my car is a, a weird hunchback called Chum Bucket, and he thinks Mad Max is some kind of saint. And this car we're driving is Chum Bucket's magnum opus. I mean, I guess we're building it together. But he's a really good, he's a super good mechanic. Or a, a black finger to use, to use Mad Max terminology. And uh, yeah, he's great. He's like, story-wise, he's really interesting. He feels like a really natural extension of the world. And then gameplay-wise, he's awesome because he, uh, you know, fixes your car. Keep an eye out. No surprise. Ooh, this guy's a tough boy. There we go. Not anymore, he's not. Squid 4 bleed purple. I don't know what that means. Is that a Splatoon reference? I love Splatoon. That game was fun. Use the cheat code to lock in your star rating and then get a jetpack. Yeah. Someday. I was kind of sad. Platoon for Smash, yeah. Yeah, they're in it, man. They, uh... They had that teaser trailer. <laughs> or, well, or Platoon for Smash. You know, that the NES adaptation of Platoon. Which is a real thing. Which cracks me up. Where did his scrap go? Hmm. Alright. Oh, it's way back there. Damn. Give me your scraps. General Custer for Smash. Oh dear. Oh dear. Bubble bath babes for Smash. <laughs> I loved when they did the. Uh, I'll just wait for these guys. Move along. Scrappy Doo. Yeah, I was. I was just gonna say. I loved. I loved the survey uh, they did for. Was that Brawl? They did. They did it in Japan and, and like they did for all territories and. You just got people saying like, oh, Shrek, Goku, and it's like, no, dude, it's got to be like a Nintendo character, guys. And they're like, yeah, I know, Shrek, Goku. Oh, God. That's why, that's why you can't Neo for Smash. Oh, boy. Relevant. <laughs> At this point, I'd rather have just Keanu. Cool spot for Smash. Now we're talking. Uh, how about Noid for Smash? Yeah! Oh, that rule. Oops. Beat the shit out of my car. Fix the car. Quick. Noah Ark from that Noah's Ark game. Yeah, hell yeah. The Doom one? Oh, no Noid. <laughs> no way, Noid forever. I loved the Noid as a kid, so much so that I rented that shitty NES game at least a few times. And and we've talked about this before on the stream. When I was a kid, I didn't understand that a game could be bad. I just thought I was bad at it. And Yo Noid was absolutely one of those games. Because uh, I went back and played it, you know, years later as an adult, thinking like, oh, I remembered really enjoying this as a kid. This will be fun to, uh, to blow through. And it just fucking sucked. It's a barely functional game. Which makes sense because it's about a pizza mascot. Oh, I don't have a good enough harpoon for that. I gotta upgrade my poon. Such a poon goon. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That's true. IRL, the most upgraded poon. But in the game, it's a different story. There's no scarecrow. I bet it's too strong for me. Oh, well, there's extra strong scarecrows. Ooh, and a sniper. Frick. Maybe don't like a sniper. Dang. Take care of this dude real quick. Style. Owie. Got you. I got you. Kill him. There we go. I don't need to do that, I just want to. <laughs> just feels like the right thing to do. Ooh, and I get ammo for it, so bango. Bango Clango. Jeff, did you have a uh, did you have a good free comic book day or May the 4th or Cinco de Mayo? Because this was a packed weekend of oh, oh boy! Look at these nasty boys. Bunch of little stinkers. The rig must be inside. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I got lots of thunder poons. <laughs> Let's see how many times I can say poon. The answer? A bunch. A whole mess of times. Ah, <laughs> fuck you! Oh, but fuck me also! Kyo! May the 4th talk to the Jews and Jar Jar Binks. Oh, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, we had a good convo. Shared my theory about Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we had a great, we had a great little convo. Oh, shit, 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 no! I was trying to get the scrap and it was just poor timing. Oh, wow. He died immediately. Kill him. Noise. Why is he doing that? Collect the scrap, you dingus. Thank you. For free comic book day, got a Thor comic, and he totally has his shirt off in three of the frames. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is, like, one of the core tenants of Thor, isn't it? He's, like, the babe one. He's the hot babe. I like that the I like that the movies have leaned into that too. Or the movies are the source of that, I guess. Talk about Splatoon. Splort. Give me your scraps. I love how much shit flies off of these cars when you crash into them. Real good. I guess I don't need to do this, because each car is going to give me, like, five pieces of scrap, which is ultimately not that awesome. But... I don't know, man. It feels wasteful not to. Man, we could, you know, if, if shit was timed out a little differently, we could have gotten Banjo-Kazooie and Smash. For sure. If they didn't sell Rare off so soon, like, you know what I mean? Like, Melee or Brawl could have maybe had Banjo-Kazooie. And I, th I actually think they would have been great. They would have been a fun character. It's too bad. It's too bad, too, because, like, um, I, uh, I picked up Ukulele. I, I kickstarted Ukulele, and it wasn't great. Like, I don't know. Haven't played, haven't played a bunch of Banjo Kazooie and a little bit of Banjo Tooie. And shit, I played, I played the nuts and bolts one too. That was okay. But I don't know, man. Ukulele, the, the, everything after the first level, 
is is not awesome. Like I I shit well shit I don't know I didn't finish it. I uh, I did most of the stuff in the first world, a bunch of stuff in the second world, and a, a little bit in the third world. And the third world was so boring and ugly and not fun to traverse that I was like, oh, I guess this wasn't a good game. Which uh, which really bums me out. And I know they've I know they've patched some stuff since since release that I think I think the camera is supposed to be better and I don't know what I don't know what else they could have done because like if the game is just kind of mediocre it's just kind of mediocre oh shit that's Wawa patch Adams for smash now we're talking <laughs> RIP uh R.I.P. Uh, Robin Williams, huh? Oh, this is spooktacular. Do I not have headlights? Oh, okay, there we go. The rig should be to the right. I don't really remember. This, this is creepy. An ambush. I don't actually know what. Headlights are for babies. Turning them off is good for spook outs, though. Alright. Give me a second. Oh, hello. <laughs> Zika babies! Oh, Jesus. God, I forgot about that already. Buzzards. Oh god. Oh god. Stop stop crowbarring at Maxwell. These nasty boys are coming. Oh god, there's a billion there's a billion of these douchers. Oh fuck. D and D's good, Jeff. I haven't uh I haven't had a chance to look up other stores yet and we actually haven't had we, we won't have our next like the the session I'm doing with Jess and her sister and brother-in-law we actually aren't gonna have our next session of that until I think like the 27th so I do want to just do some more reading up there we go there we go fuck I'm in bad shape Need to fill up on water. Yeah, I need to. I want to do some reading up on our next session. And actually, uh, Jess's mom, Jerry, might join us. So I need to reach out to her about putting together a character and stuff. So that that could be really exciting. Yeah, yeah. D and D and D's the shit. I'm. I my. Only regret is just not checking it out sooner. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was I thought it was something like way more technical. If you ever want to borrow books or talk 5e rules and stuff, let me know. That sounds great. Um I think the thing that I another round. For oh shit. I don't I, I'm I can't do this. I can't do this guys. I gotta go. I gotta get water or something. These are bad boys. Um, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe just 5e is very, well, even, even Pathfinder, which is really crunchy, I, I was able to pick up relatively easily. Um, I thought, I thought D&D &D was more like, um, like Warhammer, where you're calculating the trajectory of projectiles and shit. You know, getting out a compass and a protractor to like, I, 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 I yeah, that's what I thought D and D was like. I didn't realize how much of it was the role playing part, the the storytelling and character driven part. I thought it was, I thought it was mostly numbers and and combat. Two point five. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking of. 
I love how easy 5e is, even and even compared to Pathfinder. I played a bunch of Pathfinder and then made a character in 5e, and I joked to I joked to Byron, it's like, this is just a piece of paper that says you're a wizard. <laughs> It's pretty solid. I will say, as a DM, the things that I always forget are how throwing stuff works and how, like, long jumps work. I always... I cannot remember that. I think that's even on my screen, and I just... I, I don't... I don't track it down fast enough for something. Oh, there we go. And usually I can, uh... I can just fudge it, and it's, it's good enough. Oh yeah, those maggots, delicious maggots. Oh, here we go, oh, these psychos. You're dead. Range attacks are simple once you have it broken down, otherwise it's so confusing. We well, yeah, had not not so much ranged attacks, but just like I like if you if I've had a character, we've got one big brawny character and one little scrawny character, and uh the big brawny character likes to just throw the little scrawny character. And I've just had that. I just kind of... The thrower rolls a de uh, d20 and adds dexterity and proficiency. Okay. That makes sense. God, there's so many of these creep asses. <laughs> let's, just, let's just execute them. Down on my level, dickhead. As a DM, I would have the big guy add strength and dexterity instead of a proficiency. Okay. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought of I hadn't what the way I broke it down, this is kinda and this is kinda wonky, because it was kinda something I improvised. I had the I had the big guy do a straight strength check, and then had the little guy getting thrown do a dexterity like saving throw. To see if to see if she either landed on her feet or landed prone, and whether or not she took damage. You would have the little guy roll d20 at advantage and add dexterity. Oh, okay, cool. So I was kind of there. I was. Gonna, that's the that's that's been the nice thing about 5e is if you're not sure, you can you can kind of just hash it out and be. And I think, you know, generally you're, you end up being pretty close. Thanks, Jeff! It's really fun. It's so much fun. I, like, playing playing a character is sweet, and I, and I dig it a lot, but DMing is like a dream come true. Like, it, uh, it's, it's something I, I always wanted and didn't realize. That, yeah, that, I'm a, I'm a... I'm the type of, I'm definitely the type of DM where, like, if something's dope enough, I'm gonna probably, you know, let you do it. You know, let you attempt it, at least. Because, yeah, I love, I love, I love how players think outside the box and just come up with fucking wild solutions. Like... Cause then that gives that gives me weird stuff to play off of too. What's that back there? Gas. Play weirdos all the time, so I like rolling deception or persuasion to convince NPCs that two PCs on shoulders and a trench coat are one guy. Yeah, no, that's that's I mean, and that's Jess is really great for stuff like that. Um, Cause yeah, Jess is the one who who convinced uh, convinced the shopkeep that they are a band, and then because then that gives me so much fuel. Oh, this this card does not do reverse very well. Have I completely raided this spot? I think so. Or it goes slow for a long time, and then it goes super fast. I don't need to be stealing this car. I'm already, I'm already veering off of the story mission, but... Oh, but, but I kind of don't care, because I like this car. There's my car. 
Maybe I will. Maybe I will try. Because the sto I guess the story mission. I forgot this. The story mission is to. Oh, it's got boost. Nice. It's like my number one mud runner car. The um the story mission is to locate and I think salvage a war rig, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um Jess tried to <laughs> Jess tried to do something like that. She tried to do the Princess Bride thing where she wanted to make this like construct and have it be like the goblin god. And but her her deception roll wasn't good enough, so it failed comically. Carrying fast enough. Damn. Not parrying at all. Fuck, dude. I get too greedy, I want to keep it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, crazy? There we go. Boom, Steve. We be backing up. Come on. Oh god, ew. Fuck you. you that more of you? Give me the stuff. He make he's making some kind of noises. There well this gang is called the Buzzards, so yeah, it would be like thematically appropriate for them to make gross bird noises. They kinda seem like lizards too. These uh, these guys are fucking creepy. Sure, there's more of them somewhere. There's no way that's it. Especially because Max specifically asked the darkness, No more of you? Yeah, of course there's gonna be more. Is that the war rig? I've seen better. Oh no, it's through there. I'm not missing any goodies. Where's the part where Mad Max breaks Batman's back <laughs> for not being as good as the animated series? I guess, I think that's how the game ends. <laughs> Ooh, let's get those good wrist guards. Oh, yeah. I like how cheap the max upgrades are. Fuck yeah. We got a new, we got a new look. I really like the one I have though. I like I like beard and goggles. Medium hair and beard with goggles and bandana. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't I'm not feeling the bandana. <laughs> I was born into it. I love Bane voice. This shit cracks me up. I really Bane was my favorite part of that movie just in general. And it kind of just there made me is. want a Bane movie. Oh, uh, big one. Yeah, there's got to be more bad dudes in here. I mean, maybe there's not. Hopefully there's not, because I'm not doing great on health. Oh, shit. Yeah, we've got to have, like, a... Oh, or maybe not. Maybe we're just admiring this war rig. I don't know. I'm apprehensive. Give me a 
Liste. Alright, what's next? Yeah, I almost get like a Silent Hill vibe from this game sometimes. Just because how gross and fucked up the world is. Ooh, Skelemans. <laughs> you prefer Loud Hill? I mean, who doesn't, right? Just a big, noisy ass hill. I mean, personally, I kind of like to... Like maximum mag. Must be what she meant. Oh. Searching the war rig paid off. Now to get out of this hellhole. Oh, yeah. Now here's where it'll get shitty. Oh, I don't want the whole rig. I'm out of here. Just that mag. Okay. Yeah. God, this is going to be a shit festival. Ooh, maybe I'll avoid everybody. Got six rounds. Ooh, I got a phone call. It's Jess. I'm gonna take this. BRB. Uh, sorry I missed you, Jeff. If unless you're still here, um, I just uh, I needed to take that call from Jess because she is not feeling well, but still at work. Um, so yeah, so yeah, Jeff. I'll see you in less than two weeks. Also, so you have a good work day, my dude. And uh, yeah, right on, my man. Have a good one, dude. Catch you on the flip. We got all this shit to deal with. Bye! Au revoir. Off Vita Zane, baby. I hear yelling. In the game, not in real life. Oh, you return from the abyss. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this car though. And I guess we'll Yeah, I don't <laughs> I already forgot like what I'm supposed to do with this story item. Oops. Let me See story missions. These are all finished ones. 
Oh, the log is is everything I finished. Okay. Got it. Got it. Hmm. All right. Well. Whatever. We'll just go back to Pink Eyes. Place. I'll take this car with me. Good at getting through this muck. Or it's good until it's not. There we go. Alright. Yes. Yes. Lord, boost me the strength. I'm trying to get better at collecting more of these little cars. I only, I only have a couple in my garage part. This thing is super fucking fast. Yikes. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoops. This thing fucking cooks. I can't wait till the Magnum Opus gets going this fast. Like, I, bar I bogged it down with so much armor and, and the big rammer and stuff. Woo, shit! So it'll be cool when I can actually haul ass in that thing. But we shall see. What a pink eye. That's uh, one of the grosser wasteland names. I think I've made that. I think I've made that observation before. Yeah, it definitely seems like uh, you know maybe somebody just kept farting on her face in her sleep. Oh, oh! I will say I've noticed that you can't really roll a car in this game, or at least I haven't been able to yet. I guess I haven't tried. We will see. Oh, the GPS gets a little wonky here. It kind of... Yeah, it reverses so slowly. This is a weird one. This is a weird little car. <laughs> I like boosting into the wall like that. Fuck it, who cares? Glory, holy, 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 you are the true road warrior! Or so they all say. What is he freaking out about? What a weird little man. Alright. So I got the Max Mag or whatever it is. So I guess I'll do the other story mission. Shit. Why not? Drive to Tyrant Lash's camp. So that was a Wasteland mission. So since it's a Wasteland mission, maybe it's in here now? Leaves of steel can be found in the tunnels to the east. Oh no, I did that. Huh. Alright, whatever. I'll just keep doing stuff. I don't give a shit. We gotta get a bigger engine in this thing, though. Say Travasti! So yeah, since it was comic book day on Saturday, Jess and I picked up a bunch of fun stuff, and uh, we were in a comic booky mood, so we we rewatched Civil War and Captain America Civil War and Spider-Man: Homecoming, and then we went and we had to we had to get more uh, more of a Black Panther fix, so we went and saw Black Panther again, because that is still in the theaters. Because holy shit, it made all of the money and it rules. And it's still great. Like, it, it definitely held up on a second viewing. And then we're gonna see, we're gonna see Infinity War a second time when, uh, when Jeff's in town, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun. And, and... 
maybe maybe a little easier to take in on a second viewing because that is a weird ass movie. Who is this? A uh, hot air balloon? Oh yeah, I've done that one. Okay. Cool. Ah! Look how, oh, man, this game is beautiful, dude. They really they really fucking nailed it. They, they did this thing exactly right. So we'll, so we'll grab some scrap. Unless I bet it's under. I bet it's under the overpass. Wait here. Oh no, enemies aren't closing in on us because they're under us and they don't. <laughs> they made the same mistake we did. Yeah, I don't give a, I don't give a hoot. Oh my god! Some big bad armor on these small ones. Oops. That was great. Oh god. Doing stupendous health wise. Oh boy. Ah, shit! Oh, yeah, these road roadkill boys have been a little more trouble lately. <laughs> Cause you did. I wonder if I have any of these cars yet. Yeah, we're not that far from the stronghold. Fuck it, I'm gonna take it back. I don't give a hoot. I got... I got over three hours to fool, baby. Creating content. That nobody will watch. Whoops. I uh, I was checking out some videos that Polygon did where they played Jackbox, and I keep I kept hearing about Jackbox. Oops. That's a bad boy. <laughs> Think nothing of me, fellow villain. Um, <laughs> but I kept hearing about Jackbox. I'm like, what the fuck is Jackbox? And uh, it looks great. It's a party. It's a bunch of party games, and you play it on a, a combination of your computer, and then your friends all bust out their their smartphones or tablets or whatever. And it's just it's just party games and like funny ones. It looks it looks really great. And I think I'm gonna pitch that at our next at my next like IRL get together. And if it's fun enough, maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can get the, the, uh, the S at the end of Super Apartment Friends back in action. Because it's just been me lately. Jess, uh, Jess was playing a lot when we were doing Donkey, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Um, but then we, we wrapped up the third one of those and then it's been, it's just been the Matt show again. Which, I don't dislike, but I I'm cognizant that it's a better show when it's more people IRL. Just go away. No friend of mine. Oh, these boys are so sassy. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Fuck it, man. I'm just gonna keep collecting cars. While I make my way here, though. Ooh, watched, uh, me and Ralph watched WWE Backlash last night. That was pretty good. It was a pretty solid pay-per-view. The last fight was kind of a blah note to end on, but otherwise, a lot of fun.
I have a ton of scrap. I bet I can get... I know there are some car upgrades I haven't gotten yet. We got that. Oh, we got that. Okay. I think that was it. The Just the... Yeah. I guess that was it. Some Yeah, the, most of these I need to unlock still. Oh, I can get a better... Oh, that costs nothing. So let's do that. For sure. Need to unlock a lot of this stuff, yeah. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna have a shit ton of scrap when I do unlock that stuff, so that'll be cool. It is funny, even though this is not an RPG, I've totally been over leveling by uh by doing so many by doing almost exclusively side quests and barely bothering with the, the main story. Shit! <laughs> Oops. Is it just a loose car? Well, shit. I guess I better grab this. And I think a, I think a message pops up if it's a car I don't already have. Yeah. So I think I have that already. A vehicle collection. Is that the metal grinder? Look at this, look at these cars I'm getting. Still have a lot to get. Ooh, I love my ginger ale lemonade by uh, by Canada Drive, but it does make me a little burpy. So, sorry about that. But, uh, I don't know if the mate's picking them up. I'm trying to be, trying to be quiet, 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 polite boy about me burps. Cause that shit is unpleasant. Look at these ruins. It's a little fallouty in here. Oh, so many snip ears. This is not gonna be easy. This is not gonna be easy. Some voice, stranger. Some of Chum Bucket's dialogue is fantastic. Local bad boy and all around bunghole. Want sheep the shit out of him. Just saying. The slang in this is amazing too. They really, they really nailed it. Top dog camp, Tyrant's Lash. Camp is built inside an industrial ruin and is used to break wastelanders and turn them into ferals. It is defended by the top dog Pig and Sticker. Intel says he is weak against shivs. Heavy perimeter defense. There's a secret entrance to the right of the main gate. Watch out for ferals in the cellar. Use the zipline to exit quickly. Nice. I am crazy low on health, so I am not going to attempt this right now. Baby needs Wawa. There's a water thing there. Is that the closest? Frick. Dang. I guess I'll head that way. Shit. Alright. Fine. Yeah, maybe I'll take out this sniper on the way. And maybe that scarecrow. That might be a ginormous scarecrow, though. about this place. All right, Chum Bucket, take a chill pill, my dude. We going. Ah, jeez, get a life, dudes. It's just me, peaceful Max. Sweet, calm baby boy, Max. Ah, shit. 
Well, I don't want to engage these guys next to a fucking sniper. Good grief. Be a catastrophe. Chum bucket, you delicious creep. Very, very satisfying to do these dastardly deeds. <laughs> Suck a dick, dumb shits. Bojack Horseman, anybody? Anybody? Reference he said to avoid of nothingness. Get back here, baby. Don't play me like that. <laughs> yes! Wunderbar. Baby like. Stay put. Yes, gladly. It is my sacred place. Yeah, speaking of Nerd Weekend, Ralph, Ralph let me borrow some of his old Star Wars novels. I grabbed some of the Bounty Hunter ones and, uh,. One of the X-Wing Rogue Squadron ones. Which is pretty cool. It's very nostalgic. Because I talked about this a little bit on the last stream. But like early to mid 90s Star Wars is a... Did I say Star Trek? I meant Star Wars. Um, but that, that time period for Star Wars is like... I, I personally find to be like kind of strange and unique... Because it wasn't uh, it wasn't at the top of everybody's brain like uh, like it was in uh, the late seventies, early eighties, or like it is now, or even like it was during the the prequel period. God damn, guys! How many of you are there? Ha <laughs> ha! Good, good. Okay. That is satisfying. Oh yeah, come on baby, you ain't... No, no, no. You don't get to just leave. You don't get to just leave. Ha ha! I mean, you get to leave, but... The mortal coil is what you're leaving. Not the fight. I'm sorry, was that confusing? It's fun to trash talk a fake person. <laughs> really, I really just uh, dunked on that bundle of ones and zeros. I got you. Alright. Do I want to even bother stopping to pick up other scrap? Is it still here? Eh, yeah, let's get it. I mean, right? It's scrap. It's not not scrap. Give me this. Oh yeah. 
14 pieces of scrap, baby. Let's go fuck up a sniper. Well, I'm gonna need to gas up soonish. Can I? Yes! <laughs> yes! This is my favorite way to deal with snipers. Fantastic. You got any ammo for me? No, you dick. Ooh. Oh, yes, you do. You do have ammo. And dog food, yay! Yum, 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 yum! still need water, though. Dang, look at that dope recliner. This guy was living it up. <laughs> for this, like, weird hellscape. He was living it up. Not for normal, real life. Um, yeah, we're gonna make that our new target. Ooh, and there's a water thing there. Do I have... Griffa tokens? I only have three. I don't give a fart. Let's see how we're gonna go. Yeah, we'll just go there. Get my wawa. Ooh, yeah, the bombed out houses and stuff are a little creepier. For sure. For sure. There's some bad boys around. Oh, God! Again with you dicks. Oh, okay. At least they're... Okay. They seem to be scared of me, so that's cool. And... <laughs> it's just kind of awkward that, you know, me and this guy are going the same way. Meet you there, buddy. Okay, there he goes. This looks involved. This is borderline a camp. Don't stray. Yes, I will not leave her here. Okay. Yeah, there should be water here, so that's good. No! Just come here! I hear some crazies. Towards you. Go. Oh, here we go. Cool. What you got for me? I'm in rage mode, or whatever they call it. Hey, Rikio's back. What's up, man? Uh, what did you miss? I don't know. This? This whole thing? Punching? Dehydration? Cannibalism? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know. The basics. The classics. Jeff and I talked about D&D &D a little bit. Uh, that's about it. I, uh... Were you here when I went through a very creepy cave where I was like knee deep in muck and like just scary crazy cave people? Cuz I did that. I went through there. I went through there like lair and retrieved some kind of something that I forgot the the importance of. But I got it. Cuz that's how story missions go. Womp womp. Why do I need this? The game says I do.
That is one cool thing about this game, though, is that the, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, jeepers creepers. To the VOD. Um, I mean, I'm sure we'll see more stuff like that soon. Also, because I am... Right now, I'm just getting water so I can handle a story mission. I don't know if I can crouch. <laughs> I literally can't remember if I can crouch or not. There we go. Goodbye! <laughs> Batter up, motherfucker! You did. <laughs> that was really satisfying. Um, yeah, I'm, ki I'm sort of kind of focusing on story missions because the nice thing about story missions is that they unlock upgrades to your to your car and to your person. So, other than, of course, moving the game forward, they have that cool benefit as well. Yeah, yeah, you really have to keep, like, it's, it's cool. They, they, they nailed it. Cause like, I, I love, I love the Fallout games, but just like, like a lot of RPGs, you can have fucking 75 health potions in your inventory and it's not so scary. In this game, you can have, you can fill up your canteen and that's it. Yeah, this this is yeah, it's that it's that wild untamed world that Samurai Jack also had for sure. That was a cool show. I never I never watched the 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 new season they did, but I liked it back in the day. And would probably Oh, that one's already kicked down. Shit, a samurai game like this in general would be sweet. And that was, I mean, that's one of the coolest things about Mad Max as a franchise. When they were writing Road Warrior, they were trying, you know, they were kind of hard-pressed to come up with ideas. Like, what are we going to do for this? And then they, re they, they made this connection like, oh, we'll structure it like a samurai movie. I'm not saying I'm refusing to watch it and never will. I just haven't gotten to it yet. There's like a billion things to watch. Alright. What else is here? Oh, the wa the fucking water that I came for I have not found yet. I don't think there's anything else up here. This is the dead end. Man, these 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 crumbly labyrinthian ruins are tough on my little brain. Oh yeah, I need I need a gas can to get in there. Hmm. I actually have not seen a gas can here. I wonder if I'll have to sacrifice the one out of my car. I don't want to do that, but if I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, usually they're usually they're very generous about leaving gas cans around everywhere. Ooh, what's down here? Ooh, God, what's down here? Lots of stuff today to watch, like today's sponsor, Neo Yokio, like anime but with Jaden Smith. What the fuck? That was so, that was so funny. Every time, oh god, like for a hot second, every time you queued up YouTube, Neo Yokio is looking you in the face, and it's like, I don't want this. Why are you forcing me to look at this Netflix? Don't you know me? I thought we were... I thought we were tighter than this. Yes! Let's see, do I still have my... my weapon? No. Give me my weapon. Yeah. Alright. Down here in the fucking creep zone. Hello. Uh-oh. What does this bar mean? New enemy topped... What? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, this is like a boss fight!
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Lost my... The, the weapons break really fast. And it's cool, that's one of the things you can, uh... It's one of the things you can upgrade. Is how long weapons last for you. Did you see... They released silhouettes of the new Mechagodzilla. I did not! For the, uh, for the anime? That'll be, I'm really curious to see. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. That is news to me. Do they give an idea of what, uh, what, what he's looking like size-wise? He's disproportionate as fuck. Close. No idea in terms of size. Gotcha. Because right aren't... Aren't we thinking maybe, um, since the, since the Mechagodzilla was built to fight Godzilla a thousand years ago, you might be too small? Yeah, God, yeah. Well, it won't be a fair fight, but it'll be like a Shadow of the Colossus type thing where a Mechagodzilla is climbing up a full-size Godzilla, which could be really cool. It'll just be a retread of the climax for part one. Oh, yeah. I mean, probably. Oh, yeah. I guess it would, wouldn't it? Because, yeah, that was... That was little robots climbing up on a, on a big Godzilla. That's true. We'll see. I tell you this. I know, I know for a fact the fucking main character is going to blow ass. So that'll be fun. I'm actually probably not going to do... With that... I mean, for that reason... Well, and for other reasons, too. I'm probably not going to do full-length reviews for parts 2 and 3, uh, like I normally would. Because I kind of said what I... I mean, I assume it's not going to change wildly, other than uh, story-wise. I kind of said what I needed to say with the, the review of part 1. But who knows? Maybe they'll surprise us. But on the other hand, if he's as big as Papa Goji... Then it'll be like, what the... F it'll just be like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I mean, it's meaningless, right? If you're a billion feet tall, but there's no cities around to compare you with, like, who cares? At that point, a billion feet tall is as impressive as a hundred feet tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Mothra girls. I'm a... I'm... Yeah, I'm... I'm so mixed on, on these. Edgelord fairies, yeah. Ah, here it is. So yeah, this will just take me outside. Where's that water, though, man? That's why I came here. Shit. Give me my wawa. I'm a thirsty boy. Not that kind of thirsty, internet. <laughs> Calm down. Alright. Ignite. Fro. Kio. Yeah, that poops me outside. Cool. Oh, and then I didn't have to use up the the gas in my car. Maybe water's up here. Ooh, thun yes, yes. <gasps> I'm angry, Alan. Yeah. Whew. I think I'll prefer it to other kaiju films released so far, though I haven't seen Rampage yet. Yeah, no, Ra Rampage is my winner for 2018, for sure, so far. I hate Haruo so much. Then again, I think the only thing I'll like personally about Rampage is the kaiju action. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a it's a real weird it's a real weird approach to take to a Rampage movie, but they, I mean. I think they pulled it off. It's uh, defo not what I would have done, but 
Liked it a bunch. Surprisingly good. All right. Now I feel comfortable taking on the next story mission, which, God, is a five-star camp. That's going to be brutal. That is going to be brutal. I got full health. And I've upgraded, I've upgraded old Maxi a whole bunch. I know I prefer to Jurassic Wink. Hey, so I I missed, unfortunately I missed uh, the big brouhaha when the when the new trailer came out. What's what's the deal with with the new trailer? Because I saw you were, I I. I Unfortunately, I, I saw you were super pissed about it, and I didn't get a chance to to ask for your take on it because I, I don't think you had a chance to get into specifics. But I knew you were not digging it, so I want to, yeah, I want to I want to hear your your thoughts on that most recent trailer. I don't know if I've even I don't I can't recall if I've seen the most recent trailer. The new trailer somehow manages to spoil even more. Okay. Gotcha. These ding-dongs following me? God, guys, get tight. That's not what I wanted to do, but it worked. Hang on. And Indoraptor is just a really terrible design. Like, even I prefer Indominus to it. We kind of know how the bad guy dies, and it's really epic, but God forbid we experience it as a surprise. Yeah, I mean, that's... Spo spoiler trailers is unfortunately nothing new. There's some real wild ones from way back in the day where they just flat out tell you the whole movie. And I'm talking movies from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. Like it's it's been around forever. People, uh, people only, well, not only. People are more likely to check something out if they think they know what it is. Just a weird, shitty psych. It's one of the many flaws of our stupid, stupid brains. But you can't dump on only new movies for it because they've been doing that shit forever. Apparently, Indoraptor is going to be the last hybrid in the trilogy, so there is no hope of there being a creative design team. <laughs> Boring dinosaurs only. Yeah, they could have. They could have really had some fun with that. Oh, and no, definitely no human dino hybrids. Which lost opportunity, guys. Could have did something really fun and stupid, but yeah, never mind. Oh, here it comes! The, the mighty duster! Uh. What? Here we go!